So I have to to get get out or hide to for self preservation. Criminal! Criminal! The tao hotito palparan. Today on Rappler, the face of human rights abuses in the Philippines, Fugitive General Juvito Palparan is arrested. The Ebola death toll rises above 1,000. And award-winning actor and comedian Robin Williams is dead. Hello, I'm Pater Nuez Makel. Welcome to Rappler, your social news network. The country's most wanted man is arrested. A stone's throw away from a university that is home to student activists. After three years in hiding, former military general Juvito Palparan, the face of human rights abuse in the country, falls to military operatives. Carmela Fonbuena reports. The chase is over for the country's most wanted fugitive, accused of ordering the abduction of two University of the Philippines students. When our NISF operatives together with NBI uh, were able to, to have a glimpse of uh, General Palparan and then uh, they, uh, they served the warrant in the house of uh, certain uh, Grace Roa. So the, ser the, the warrant was served and uh, General Palparan really did not resist the arrest. Known as the Butcher, the retired general is the poster boy for extrajudicial killings and human rights violations during the Arroyo administration. The Armed Forces Chief asks the public to give Palparan the benefit of the doubt. The general has always been an anti-communist hardliner. Mga tenyente kami, major siya, batalyong commander siya ng 24th, ako assigned sa 69er batalyon. Pagkakasama kami niyan ni General Parparan. And how was he? He was really a uh, aggressive officer na talagang uh, uh, strong anti-communist and he, he really did his job well. We will end the long oppression of barangays by rebel terrorists. One person's executioner is another man's hero. Before his retirement in 2006, Palparan was a star in the State of the Nation address of President Arroyo who praised the general for his patriotism. Sa mga lalawigang sakop ng 7th Division, nakikibaka sa kalaban si Jovito Palparan. Hindi siya aatras hanggang makawala sa gabi ng kilabot ang mga pamayanan at makaahon sa bukang liwayway ng hustisya at kalayaan. He joined Congress in 2007 as representative of party list group Bantay and brought his war against leftist lawmakers to Congress. In 2010, he ran for the Senate along with former communist leader Satur Ocampo. They both lost. In December 2011, a Bulacan Regional Trial Court ordered his arrest for the disappearance of UP students Sherlene Kadapan and Karen Empeño. He goes into hiding before he is arrested and has been underground for three years. The arrest of General Palparan is a reminder of the military's ugly human rights record and the danger when the means are justified to meet the goal of ending Asia's longest-running insurgency. It's a ghost that a supposedly reformed military needs to confront, especially now that it can boast of having captured one of its own. Carmela Fonbuena, Rappler, Manila. Linda Kadapan, the mother of student Sherlyn Kadapan, asks Palparan to tell the families where the missing girls are. Criminal the tao, Jovito Palparan. Alalahanin mo, walong taon ako'y naghihirap. Isang ina ni Sherlyn Kadapan, naghihirap. Walang bigel na naghahanap ng katarugan, naghahanap ng hostesya, naghahanap sa aking anak. Kaya po, sana panakotin mo na ilitaw na ang aking anak, Sherlyn Kadapan, at ang kanyang kaibigan. Alalahanin mo ang mga kasalanan mo sa taong bayan. Hindi lamang Sherlyn Kadapan, Karin Impinyo, Manuel Perino, ang iyong ginawaan ng katahayupan. Alalahanin mo 
On June 26, 2006, University of the Philippines students Karen Empeño and Sherlyn Kadapan were abducted by several gunmen in Hagonoy, Bulacan. Witnesses claim they were tortured under military custody. There is no word whether the missing girls are still alive. Palparan is named as the mastermind in the abductions. <laughs> ang tinukot ninyo sa iba-ibang lugar. Ayun lamang, natatakot sa inyo dahil sa iyong mga kasamahan. Takot po silang mamamatay, kaya po tahimik lamang. Ngunit po kaming dalawang ina na walang takot maghanap sa inyo. Hindi po kami titigil dahil po kami walang kasalanan sa inyo. Kayo ang may kasalanan sa amin. Kayo ang may kasalanan sa amin. Retired Major General Jovito Palparan said he went into hiding because of a threat so massive he preferred to be in control of his security rather than leave his fate to authorities. He quotes the New People's Army as saying he's a quote, dead man walking. May may problema ako sa sa security, no? Malaki yung threat. I think alam naman ninyo, alam ng media, in public may pronouncement sila na pag-retire ko pa lang eh, nakabanner na sa inquirer by NPA na palparan did man walking. I cannot really assure myself na secured ako. Alam mo yung threat, yung threat sa akin is so massive. Palparan says he did not attempt to resist arrest. He says he would be willing to be jailed anywhere that is safe from the enemy. Pero, <coughs> ang worry ko actually sa mga ganyan, kung mayroong kasamang nervyoso, and uh, I could like to congratulate the NBI na wala namang nervyoso, na basta-basta na lang nagpapukutok. But in some incidents kasi ng arresting, ano, mayroon yung uh, gagamit ng uh, anisari violence. So, wala naman. So, I'm still alive and I'm thankful for that. The arrest was uh, proper. Hindi nyo na naisip magtago siya or wala naman? Ah, hindi. Uh, basta ako at the time, sabi ko nga sa mga kasama ko, if there will be an arrest, hindi ko kailangan ang, ano, ang uh, counter or protection. I give up myself. Four days, three days ago, parang nararamdaman ko na na... He says he is. He says he is worried for his health and will undergo a health exam. Palparan claims all evidence against him were lies. He says his accusers from the left are very good at fabricating evidence. Hindi totoo yan, siyempre, kasi ang dami nilang manufactured na evidence, na. So, kawawa yung isang sundalo na tinuro lang nila dahil ginawang security ko, additional security noon ng request ko, eh, tinuro lang nung isang witness na kasama daw yun. Then, nakulong na hanggang ngayon. So, walang kaalam-alam yung tao. Ganon sila pag nag-manufacture ng, ng evidence or witnesses. Yan ang example ng, ng, ng how uh, uh, untruthful, how, di, um, how they are doing it. Malacanang assures the public retired Major General Jovito Palparan will not be given special treatment in detention. Communication Secretary Sonny Coloma says Palparan can now, quote, go through the process of accountability. Palparan himself says he would not seek special treatment, only security from his enemies and an impartial trial. The Aquino government offered a 2 million peso bounty for Palparan's capture. Palparan went into hiding when a Bulacan Regional Trial Court issued a warrant for his arrest in December 2011 for the 20.06 abduction of students Sherlyn Kadapan and Karen Empeño. The Philippines hits China for rejecting Manila's plan to stop provocative acts in the South China Sea even as ASEAN posts no objections to the initiative. China rejected the proposed triple action plan. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi says Philippine behavior, quote, contradicts its own proposal. 
Wang says the Philippines should withdraw its push for international arbitration and call for a moratorium. Philippine Foreign Secretary Albert Del Rosario says the triple action plan is centered on the Declaration on the Conduct of Parties in the South China Sea, or DOC. Both the Philippines and China signed the declaration. He says if China doesn't accept the plan, then it doesn't believe in the DOC. The World Health Organization, or WHO, says the death toll in the Ebola outbreak in West Africa passed 1,000. The WHO says as of Tuesday, 1,013 people died in the outbreak, with 1,848 reported cases. In response, American company MapBio sends all doses of its experimental anti-Ebola drug ZMAP to West Africa. A collaboration between U.S. and Canadian researchers, ZMAP was manufactured in tobacco leaves and is difficult to produce on a large scale. Effects of the drug are still unknown because it has not been rigorously tested. MapBio says any decision to use the drug code must be made by the patient's medical team. The two American missionaries who fell ill with Ebola last July were given doses of the drug. Both have improved after being given the drug. A Spanish priest infected by Ebola was also given the dose, but dies Tuesday, five days after being evacuated from Liberia. In the Philippines, 30 policemen deployed in Liberia for United Nations mission are declared Ebola-free. The peacekeepers are scheduled to return to the Philippines this month. Let's now look at Rappers Rap for today, a list of the 10 most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. At number 5, Iraqi President Fuad Masum accepts the nomination of new Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi. Abadi has 30 days to form a government that is expected to heal Iraq's sectarian divides. Abadi takes over from Nouri al-Maliki, nominated by the Iraqi parliament's Shiite bloc. Maliki had been partly blamed for the current Iraqi crisis because he alienated the Sunni minority. And at number 10, Philippine hip-hop dance group A-Team wins the gold medal at the 2014 World Hip-Hop Dance Contest in Las Vegas. New Zealand's IDCO won the silver, while Russia's flyographer's dance team took home the bronze. The winning team was led by two coaches known in the Philippine hip-hop community as Angelica and MJ Arda. For the full top 10, visit rapper.com's The Rap. Award-winning Hollywood actor Robin Williams is found dead in his home in California, Tuesday man at a time. California police suspects Williams committed suicide through suffocation by asphyxia. Williams had openly spoken in the past about his struggles with alcohol and drugs. His wife, Susan Schneider, said in a statement, quote, I am utterly heartbroken. On behalf of Robin's family, we are asking for privacy during our time of profound grief. Williams earned Oscar nominations for his performance as an inspirational English literature teacher in Dead Poet Society and for playing a mentally ill homeless man mourning the loss of his wife in 1991's The Fisher King. He finally landed a coveted Oscar for 1997's Goodwill Hunting, which helped launch the Hollywood careers of co-stars Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Every story on Rapper has a mood meter, which gives you eight emotions to choose from. Click how you feel, and your vote comes down to the mood navigator in the middle of the front page, which crowdsources the mood of the day. It also gives you the top 10 stories with the most clicks. Two big stories today dominate our mood navigator. We have uh, stories about Jovito Palparan, who was arrested in Manila, Manila a while ago. We have this story, Palparan arrested in Manila, 80% happy. And another story about General Palparan, the most wanted man in the country, 7% sad and 84% angry. And the other set of stories on our Mood Navigator has to do with Robin Williams, who was found dead a while ago. We have this story, actor William, Robin Williams dead, 95% sad. This story drove our Mood Navigator today, and today most people are sad. That's Rapper's newscast for today, August 12, 2014. Visit Rapper.com and watch our newscast Monday to Friday. Tell us how you feel on our mood meter and help us crowdsource the mood of the day. I'm Paterno S. Makel. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.
out or hide it. So, for self-preservation. Criminal! Criminal! Tatawa! Hoping so, Palparani!